Hi, in this video, I'm going to discuss the mean or the expected return of a stock and the standard deviation of returns, which is the measure of asset specific risk. Finally, using two numeric examples, I will show how expected returns and standard deviations are calculated. Let's talk about the mean or expected return. When it comes to investing in a stock for which you have the historical price information, you may want to know two things. What return I should expect from this investment and what risk I'm taking. To form your return expectation, you can use historical price or return information and calculate expected rate of return. This calculation can be done either using probability of future event happening or historical performance data. First, we will take an example using probability information. Second, I will show how you can calculate expected return when probability information is not given. Here's the probability example. As you can see, your holding period return, which is denoted as HPR, varies based on overall state of the economy, such as best case scenario, normal state, or worst case scenario. You also know the probability of making these different returns in different scenarios. In other words, you only know the likelihood of each event happening. Now, the first question. What is the mean or expected return? Using the following formula, the mean or expected return equals, you multiply each of these holding period return by their respective probability and add those up, you get 14%. So if you invest in this stock, your expected return would be 14% regardless of the state of the economy. Second question, what is the standard deviation or risk of the investment? In general, standard deviation measures the variability of returns in regards to the expected mean. The higher the variability, the higher the risk. Using the following formula, we calculate variance first. So we take each return and subtract expected mean from that return and we square it and then multiply the respective probability. And finally, we add these three terms up and we get variance of 0.054. Now, in order to get the standard deviation, you need to take a square root of variance, which is square root of 0 0.054, 23.24%. So the risk of the investment is 23.24%. Suppose that you don't know the probability information, but you have the historical returns of a stock as in the following table. Now, if you are to calculate the expected return or mean and standard deviation as you did in the previous question, you are going to use the simple statistical formula for both mean and standard deviation. The calculations are as follows. The mean return would be you simply add the three HPRs and divide by three, you get 14%. The variance would be each return minus the mean return and then square it. And then finally, you add those three up and divide it by n minus 1, n is 3, so 3 minus 1, that gives you 0 0.09. To get the standard deviation, you square root the variance and you get 30%. I hope this video will help you calculate risk and return of an investment. Thanks for watching.